Naturally, Oprah Winfrey just hosted the most talked about interview with her new neighbors, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, where the couple spilled the tea for the first time since stepping back from the royal family. The Duke and Duchess purchased their first mansion together in Montecito last summer, where Oprah also has her main 70 acre estate of the promised land. But there isn't just one Oprah house as you might imagine. She owns about eight properties all over the United States, from California to Hawaii and even Orcas Island, so let's take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Oprah is known for many things like being the talk show and TV queen, the giver of gifts, and simply an icon. Though her childhood was full of poverty and abuse, she was able to overcome adversity, beat the odds, and amass herself a net worth of $2.6 billion. Can you believe it? Oprah is considered to be one of the most famous, influential, and wealthiest women in the universe, so it's no surprise she was able to easily snag a tell-all interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle who are notoriously private. Just the way Oprah escaped her impoverished life in rural Mississippi, it took her time, effort, and her natural charisma to become friends with the Duke and Duchess. She first called Meghan to propose an interview back in 2018, and when Oprah found herself in London, the two met in person, with Meghan inviting her to Kensington Palace. Oprah also got an invite to Prince Harry and Meghan's royal wedding, and more recently, the couple ended up moving so close to Oprah's mega estate in Montecito that they could be neighbors. Aside from Oprah's iconic Montecito home where she spends most of her time, her real estate portfolio is always growing, with properties all over the United States and even a getaway in Hawaii. Hey guys, it's Kara and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video every day. Since everyone's talking about Oprah's tell-all interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, I figured it was time for an updated look at where Oprah calls home including her longtime estate in Montecito, rumored to be worth $100 million. Her mansion is one you don't want to miss. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Way back in 2001, Oprah was invited to a party at a dreamy estate in the picture-perfect neighborhood of Montecito near Santa Barbara and the rest was history. She fell in love with the peaceful 42-acre property so much that she persuaded the owners Robert and Marlene Villas to sell the place even though it wasn't on the market. Oprah wrote up a check for about $52 million and began making this place, now called the Promised Land, her very own. She named the property this to symbolize her journey from rags to riches as it's taken from a biblical reference for an African American woman living in paradise whose ancestors were slaves. Oprah's home is decidedly paradise, estimated to be worth about $100 million these days after several additions. The main mansion was built in 1912 originally, but underwent extensive renovations to make it its current size of 23,000 square feet and to suit Oprah's specific tastes. There are more than 6 beds and 14 baths throughout, as well as 10 cozy fireplaces. While Oprah bought the main property back in 2001, later in 2016, she purchased a piece of land known as Seamare Farm, spanning over 23 acres directly beside it for over $28 million. This additional property boasts a 5,000 square foot ranch style home, a pool, horse stables, caretaker cabin, equestrian ring, and even orchards. Furthermore, Oprah bought another 44 acre preserve on the other side of her property to get ultimate privacy. These days, the promised land spans over 70 acres near the beaches and the mountains. Oprah's main home is designed in a classic Neo-Georgian style and the main entryway has a winding staircase and high ceilings personalized with photos of loved ones so the star can see them upon first walking in. In fact, as her forever home, Promised Land is where Oprah and her long-term partner Stedman Graham love to spend time and have decorated the place full of mementos, books, and artwork. The home has been thoughtfully put together over the years and Oprah runs her business empire from the property too. When she's unwinding, sometimes she even post pics hanging with her dogs here on Instagram. The kitchen is the heart of Oprah's mansion, and it's a spot where she and her loved ones can get together and kick back. The TV icon had the fireplace and pizza oven removed to create more space here, but left the rest as is. Altogether, her mansion boasts several living rooms, a library, kitchen, two movie theaters, an office, and a wine cellar. Also on Oprah's property, she has a fully redecorated and elegant guest house, as well as a tea house. Her tea house is set right in the middle of the garden, and was 
was originally built as a place to cut flowers, but she changed her mind and made it a space for herself. She also says she comes to the tea house to read and meditate and enjoy a cup of tea. <laughs> The grounds of Oprah's mansion are truly a sanctuary with perfectly manicured lawns, gardens with roses and lilies, and amazing views of the ocean and mountaintops. On one of the combined properties, Oprah also has a large pool surrounded by palm trees, a gorgeous patio, and nearby a koi pond, all creating the perfect space to entertain or relax. In 2018, Oprah decided to purchase another peaceful and picturesque property. Tucked between Seattle and Vancouver, there are the San Juan Islands made up of four main islands accessible by Washington State Ferries. One of these is Orcas Island, where Oprah decided to buy a 43-acre compound called the Madron Eagle Estates. The San Juan Islands are a much-loved destination for many nearby city dwellers and for the passionate residents who call the islands home, now including Oprah when she fancies a vacation. Oprah's getaway here is completely private with two waterfront pieces of land and 3,000 feet of shoreline. It costs her $8.2 million for this expansive property and inside the residence measures in at over 7,300 square feet with four beds, three full baths, and two half baths. The main residence is three floors and made with stone accents and natural woods used throughout which create the all-American luxury cabin feel. The floors were even installed from the old Sears building in Chicago and refinished for the home. As you enter, you're greeted by a massive hanging art piece that frames the entryway and sets the stage for what's to come. The main level is home to the kitchen with pizza oven and skylights, living room, dining area, and bedrooms. Oprah's master suite features a stone wall with wood accents and a marble spa-like ensuite. There's also a library corner in the home with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, which I'm sure is a feature book-loving Oprah takes advantage of. Also on the lower level, there's a home office complex, wine cellar, and a tasting room. A custom-built staircase leads to the upper level, where there's a huge bonus room or family room, as well as a fully stocked games room. Outside is as lush as you might expect, with native trees and plants manicured perfectly. Stone paths weave through the gardens, which completes the peaceful, earthy landscape. And that's not all. Of course, Oprah also needs room for her traveling entourage, which the gallery house is perfect for. The contemporary guest house on the property is just under 3,000 square feet and has four beds and three baths, all set on a high cliff perched above a private beach. Other features on her Orcas Island property include a tea house underneath the trees and overlooking the water, a huge barn with a woodworking studio up top, and a gym and yoga studio on the lower level. Elsewhere, there's a sauna, a garden, pond and stream, private hiking trails, and private beach. So now we've taken a look at Oprah's properties, well, two of her more notable ones, and I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. After checking out her sprawling Montecito compound known as the Promised Land, as well as her Orcas Island estate, which would you choose to live at? I think they're both breathtaking, and with all of her properties, that's only the tip of the iceberg. But I like her Orcas Island place best. Something about that forest atmosphere I really love. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Oprah's properties in the comments down below. And if you want to see the nearby Montecito mansion Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to, we just reported on that too and we'll link it after this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!